My name is Ashley King, and I've been a PowerPoint presentation designer for over a decade, working on large-scale events all the way to small business meetings. Here's a short sample of how I use PowerPoint to make a presentation look more cohesive and more interesting to an audience. For this event, there was a large screen acting both as content and the backdrop for the stage, but these type of animations and techniques are usable for small-scale presentations as well. So let's run through it first. Right off the bat, we have a still that advances on a click so it can start whenever the presentation or event is ready to begin. Next, we have an animation, which automatically advances to a looping animation on the next slide. This slide advances on a click to allow for timing to be a bit flexible in case the presenter takes their time coming on stage or if there's a voiceover. Now the presenters come on, the slide can also stay up as long as it's needed until the presenters actually start. In which case, when they begin, we click. And in this case, these presenters didn't have a PowerPoint, so instead it was camera shots shown on either side of the icon. And once their presentation was over, we advanced to the next slide, which brings on the logo and the name of the event and hold. Again, this can cover bringing on chairs for the next panel or simply to have something on screen during a voiceover introducing the next presenters. Once everything is ready, then we can go to the next slide, which wipes away the logo and the event name and automatically advances to the following presenter introduction slide. Let's dive in a little bit on how it's built. So slide one, it's just a design still that advances on a click. Slide two, and we have all the same elements. It's just now with animations that move the elements around. Now slide three. This slide starts off where the last one ends, which is probably the most tricky part about these types of animations because it has to be perfect in order to look smooth. This slide also has an animation that is set to auto reverse and repeat until end of slide, which gives that pulsing movement. Slide four uses the morph transition, which smoothly animates duplicate elements from one slide to the next. And then there's also just some standard animations. So if we were to look at the morph transition and how that looks on there. Slide five, the camera shots weren't actually built into this presentation. I just added boxes just to show where they were for the event. And this is basically how it looked. Once the presentation is over, we have a logo that animates on and holds. And once clicked, the next slide animates starting off where the last slide ended and automatically goes to the next presenter slide, which animates on with standard animations and that morph transition again. So that's just a small example of an actual event presentation that I created in PowerPoint that runs smoothly and cohesively across slides that act more like a cute video background than an actual individual slide deck. I hope you enjoyed.